Hi. Um, the Underwear Magician here again. Unfortunately, I seem to have gotten some rather hefty complaints on, um, some rather hefty complaints and responses on a, um, particular comment I made on the John Edwards uh, site. Um, somebody said that a 20 year old without any education shouldn't be spouting quantum theory. Well, um, to illustrate that, I did already point out in my response, um, I guess maybe if you didn't get the comment, my grandfather was a retired uh, particle physicist and he worked uh, as a call one of his colleagues at the University of Toronto a few um, back when back in the uh, 70s and the 80s when he was working was a guy by the name of Dr. Howard Eisenberg, a psychologist who had published a mainstream article called Telepathic Transition of Emotional Information in Humans. I can get the original document I happen to have in my coat right now, but just in case people are wanting to see something a little bit more current, um, I was mucking around on Christmas Eve with a uh, when I first got this webcam with a particular video of some ESP kind of stick I was just kind of working with on the side. And uh, I'm going to inject it in here now, um, just so this way you can, guys can see what I've been up to and um, can make it for what you want. I would appreciate critique of any sort, uh, particularly in ways of, you know, experimental pattern guessing, anything I might have, you know, mistaken in there. I thought I'd gotten rid of everything by, you know, uh, you know, I, I mean, I've already gotten, st you know, statistically insignificant scores. That individual one is kind of only like three above, so it shouldn't really take too much into account. But just in case, you know, if you guys have any other uh, critiques on how I could further refine this experiment, I'll scrap the one I've currently got and start again from scratch. So, yeah, critique is appreciated. Hi, all. Um, I'm now about to do a tape demo for um, an actual psychic experiment, um, which I'm hoping will work out. Um, I figure I might as well do a prep of... Um, now, the thing is, you guys have already seen me do a lot of magic tricks via cards. Well, the Zaner Card Project, another video on YouTube, um, Experiment 1, suggested an idea using a... Um, yeah, sort of Zenner Project uh, Experiment 1 suggested the using of playing cards for red and black uh, to guess whether red or black. It's a 1 in 2 probability. A 52 out of 52 cards, 34 would be expected as statistically significant. However, I've already run a data pool of some 360 trials, I believe it is. Let me double check. Whatever 52 times 7 is, because I've already run 7 runs of 52 cards. So 52 times 7. 364. And, um... I will add on my total hits um, based into the data pool from this current trial, so this, this way you'll be able to get a sample of it and be able to see it on real YouTube. So anyway, this is uh, hopefully a live attempt at psychic demonstration. We'll see one way or the other. Sorry I can't show my face, but unfortunately, kind of, I'm trying to show you the cards and trying to show the, um, you know, given the nature of where the webcam is, trying to show both the cards and my face, unfortunately, just doesn't work out with this particular webcam. Still, nonetheless, you'll actually see me shuffle the cards. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm going to make absolutely sure that when I'm shuffling these, there's no way either I or you, the camera or anything else can see what these cards are. With any luck, I've eliminated most of the problems. Only one I've got to worry about is pattern guessing, but I don't think that's going to be a problem in this particular case, so... It's a suggestive result, so just take this as suggestive, whatever the ends up, whatever the results end up being. Okay, let's give this a shot. Nine shuffles, I believe. Sorry, I just want to make sure I get all the cards. I'm going to close my eyes here so I'm relying by feel.
Okay, I've done 15 shuffles. Generally, I vary between 10 and 20. This is to make sure of total randomization. I'm now going to attempt to guess the cards, red or black. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them, if they're hit, I'm going to put them in the left-hand pile. And if they're wrong, I'm going to put them in the right-hand pile, which means the pile closest to the computer is misses and the pile closest to the camera is hits. Okay, let's give this a shot. Black, wrong, red, black, 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 Re uh, red, black, red, red, black, red, red, black, 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 Red, black, 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 red, black, black. Hang on, just let me try to refocus again. Red, 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 black, black, black. No, this is red. Okay, so this, the yeah, case okay, so the next one's red. No. Red. 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 Black. Black. Red. Black. Black. Red. 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 Black. Black. Red. Red, red, black, red, red, black, red, black, black. Okay, let's take a look at the hits pile. Pile closest to the camera, so let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so 29, that's about a 1 in 3. Still, let's go and add this to the data pool. That's 29, so it's marginally above chance this particular time. 26, I should mention, is a 1 in 2 probability of chance. So, let's take this over here. I'm just going to quickly pop into the side test significance calculator. Just uh, favorites. Scroll down the page here. Site test significance calculator. And the last I remember. Okay, so just let me make sure I've got this thing clear. A one in two probability. A closed system because it was a sick, a fixed set of shuffle targets. Uh, let's see. This one is 52 times eight equals. So 416 trials. 416. And now let's just see if I'm just going to add up the remainder of the data pool from before. 26 plus 26 plus, plus, um, sorry, 26 plus 26 plus 29 plus 35 plus 34 plus 36 plus 30 plus 29, 245. So 245, assuming I typed everything incorrect, I'm just going to double check. 26, 26, 29, 35, 34, 36, 30. 29, okay, so 245, and let's take a look at the odds. Uh, we have a 0 0.05 significance, my z-score is 3.57, probability 0 0.0004, um, so 0 0.0005 significance level with odds of 1 in 2,852 of this resulting by chance. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that data pool bit, and um, that's what I've been currently doing, so kind of fluctuates a little bit, but just gave you a bit of an idea of what I've been up to. Okay, thanks a bunch.